Welcome to the another episode of Abstract Thesis series. In this series, we are digging deep into the Power BI concepts. If you have not subscribed, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for our new video. Hello and welcome to this new video of Abstract Thesis series. And in today's video, we are going to discuss a very simple concept of concatenate label of uh, in Power BI bar and stacked visual. And we are going to see how it can make a difference. So let's jump onto the Power BI and this is really simple concept which is available but it can make a difference how your visual will appear if you use it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to first draw a visual with the brand and one KPI which is let's say cross. Now let me convert it into a clustered bar visual. Okay, now I convert it into a clustered bar visual. And let me give it a lot of space also. Now what happens the moment you wanted to give a category here as a legend and let me before that I let me show you the properties of this one and if you go to the data color you see that you know the data color is enabled and I can use the function so I can give cho col color choices of my own I can go and do the conditional formatting or I can use the field value option and I can have certain majors which are basically can give the color to the brand or to the category or whatever I want. Now what I want here is if I go here and put this here legend. The first thing which I see here is that you know if I go back to the properties and I go to data color this is first of all this is not available. The second thing which I see though I get the color for each category so I can change those but I cannot conditionally format means I can't now go ahead and write down a major on sales value. Or even if I have margin, I can't write down based on that. Now, second is this does not seems, you know, there are gaps. This doesn't seems like, you know, uh, there is no, you know, fitness is there. So it just seems like, you know, the bra the, cat uh, the categories are missing. The space has been left for that. Now, there is a really good option which we had and which we should use actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put category here. Now the moment I put category here, the first thing which I found that it is not appearing and to appear that you know you have to use this last option the reverse square y sign the expand icon and once you do that expand icon you start seeing this. Now what is happening here the labels are concatenated. The next thing which we need to do is we need to go back to the properties and find out concatenate labels. So concatenate labels I'm going to switch it off. Now once I switch it off it's not going to work and sometime you will find it bit, bit like you know crazy when I go ahead and you know sort it, it then only it's going to work out okay and the reason behind it that you know unless the brands and category are sorted we are not in a position to you know put those categories uh, into you know the true level position. Now this is really helpful when you have year and month and you want to show the month inside that one. That, that time it's also helpful and, and look at the beauty here is now that these things are you know the missing categories we are not more bothered. It's not taking space. It's more filled. More uh, you know space utilization is much better. Now you will ask there is no color for category. No, no worries about that because the beauty with this approach is when we take more than one axis is that the data color option is still available. Now how do I do the colors of the category? So for that what we are going to do is we are going to build up a major. So we are going to create a color major. And then I am going to and, and I can use switch true but right now just to make it little bit faster I will try to use switch uh, not switch true. So I say um, and what I am going to do is switch and there I can take selected value or I usually prefer the max but it's de definitely you can choose the better one which suitable in that particular condition I, and we can do conditional formatting absolutely on margin or some things we can write down switch true we can write down as complex statement as we want and you can watch my another video which is there in the abstract thesis series is major based conditional formatting we have another video okay so now let's say max of item brand so we have now taken item, sorry, not item brand. I want to take category because I want to color categories here. And what is going to be my value? And I do this alt enter and come down a little bit. And spelling, we need to be a little bit more careful because. Um, so first one, let's say I want to have this green. And then I'm a copy paste fan. So let me do copy paste. 
oh i have done wrong thing by doing copy paste but no wrong please let me and well we can leave one category so i'll say two i'll say three i'll say four and one i'll give default so let's say i say this is blue and this is yellow and let's say we have a gray we have a silver and gold color also okay and let's say what red we are all covered up switch true I, I could have written item category equal to green and that thing also with if i use switch true that's another version which we could have used now i have created this and now i can do, go ahead and do one one thing which i can do it i can go to this function i go to here and i go to field value and i'm going to go here and i will search for color and when you search for color please remember you need to give something which is returning text here okay and now you see that these categories are getting color now so now we have colors for category now you might not be able to show this as a legend so what you can do is you can put up a small table where you can have those colors so what i can do here is i can put up a table and then in the next one i can put up the colors all those stuff we can do and we can show you or we can put up the color categories and the background is color sorry let me put up a table here very small table here and let me put category there and let me go ahead and do the conditional formatting here and here i'll go and enable the background conditional formatting and here in this one i'll say field value and i say color okay so every category has its own color and we can little bit elongate it or we can use it the other the way we wanted it or maybe you want to create that small unique character and then you want to color color that that is another possibility and then you can uh, you know try some few permutation combinations to display this okay or those all we can do so this is how you can even show you know what color what, what category what color means so this is the one way now this another way if we switch the position then then there is another possibility but this is little bit tricky here the moment you switch the position uh, and you again expand it the first thing you will notice that this concatenation goes off and then you have to again go ahead and sort on the axis it's sorted but you have to again sort this you have to do twice okay finally we got it yes so this is sometime which is happen and you know that's why i say it's crazy sometime that you know it doesn't happen in one go it shows some property but it's not applied actually so that you might face maybe you have to do it twice so category category and then sorting and all those we can sort out category uh, these are the categories and inside that there's a brand and one category is having one color and that's what could be something which might look more um, better in such scenarios when you want only one color for one category and now this is there so now this is what happening with the what we call the clustered visual and stack visual also we can know now in stack visual what happens is definitely stacked visual is if you don't give a legend there is no importance of a stacked visual okay because stacked visual need that thing okay that's why it is stacked visual okay but let's start with the same thing and instead of major what i'm going to do here is i'm going to put values which is net and on top of net we put discount so this is something my gross is okay now here let me expand it here now in this scenario i can go here and i'm taking two majors here i instead of you know creating on the legend and anyways the moment i take two majors or i take a legend i am not able to do this data color so the data color property is gone and stag is nothing without two majors or without a legend okay so that option is gone but concatenate label can help us still you know some cases and this is available feature out here we switch it off and we know we need to sort it and now you see now you see that there is a different look and feel which you are getting now this you would not have got now the two things which has happened here one is you are able to use two majors and instead of legend you use the another axis and it's still able to display that and this is not as bad as what we could have done by taking it as a legend okay so what i am doing is 
I want to take two majors. So I've taken two majors and instead of legend, I've taken the second as an axis and I'm able to display two majors. Now, these are no, these are not two clustered visuals. Okay. We have taken two majors. We are not able to, to do, display two clustered visuals. So understand it is not that, you know, I, I can display both net and discount uh, by category wise. So I can have, you know, I take net and then category wise split of that. I take uh, discount and category wise display. That is not clustered stacked visual, but still I'm able to display two majors. And this is something really different when I need cluster of two majors. Okay. Majors itself, itself are creating stacked. It's not the legend which is creating stack. So this is different, but still uh, in some scenarios, this is something which can help you out. So try these things out. Do let us know what else you want me to cover in this particular series. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you. Keep watching. Keep asking questions in comments. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos. Thank you.